The Euroflighter Typhoon is the largest defense program in Europe. And the aircraft is produced by Germany, the United Kingdom, Spain and Italy. So these are the four leading industrial nations and they work and develop a joint combat aircraft. The Eurofighter Typhoon has about 707 orders of six customers among the four nations which I just mentioned. In addition, 15 aircraft from Austria and 72 aircraft from Saudi Arabia. And of course, we are looking for new customers such as uh, uh, UAE, such as uh, the uh, Bulgaria, such as uh, uh, Oman. Countries in the Middle East are very much interested. Uh, we're also looking in Asia, where Malaysia could be a customer. So uh, I think the export potential of the Typhoon is quite huge. The general potential is about 800 aircraft in the next 20 years. And we expect that 25% of this market potential could be uh, come in our basket. So we've just started the program in 2004 and now we are right on track. We have delivered 330 aircraft so far and the whole Eurofighter fleet worldwide accumulated more than 150,000 flying hours. So I think it's good. We are working on the improvement of its operational capabilities. Here, during the Farnborough Air Show 2012, we announced that we will have, make a major step on the E-Scan radar, which is an electronic uh, radar, compared to the mechanical one which we have. And uh, we will have the E-Scan radar available in 2015. Most of our customers, whom we're talking to at the present time, they would like to have the E-Scan radar, and so we're working on it to offer it to our customers. At the same time, we have launched a phase one enhancement program in order to further improve the air-to-air -air and air-to-ground capabilities of this combat aircraft. And last but not least, I should mention the Meteor air-to-air -air missile. We will have first test firings in fall this year. And then, I guess, together, we really have a significant boost in the enhancement of the capabilities of the Typhoon. So I think we can be very proud of what we have achieved, but there is still a lot to do to make it even more effective uh, combat weapons. Uh, in case we have a new customer, we can offer him not only a brilliant aircraft, we can offer him also a political partnership, we can offer industrial cooperation and outstanding operational capabilities. Let me talk about the political partnership for a moment. As I said at the beginning, we have four core nations, Germany, Spain, Italy and the UK, who would get closer to the new customer and the political relationships would become even closer with these leading industrial nations. Then industrial cooperation. Yes, there are EADS, VAE Systems and Finmechanica, the three big aerospace companies in Europe, and they would develop a close industrial aid, industrial cooperation with the country that selects the Eurofighter Typhoon. And we are well proved for our cooperation because the Typhoon has been a cooperation program from the very beginning. So we know what it means to work with new partners. And any, any nation which selects the Typhoon is more than welcome to enter into a new stage of industrial cooperation with us. Hi, my name is Craig Penrice. I'm formerly Royal Air Force fighter pilot, where I flew the Lightning, 
the Hawk, uh, the F-15 Tornado, and latterly as a test pilot on the Typhoon. I work for BAE Systems, and I'm involved in the marketing activities for Typhoon. I think we found with Typhoon entering service, the transition from whatever aeroplane to fly Typhoon has been a very simple and straightforward process. There are a number of reasons for that. First and foremost, the aeroplane is uh, carefree. There are no limits for the pilot to worry about. There are no nasty handling characteristics that are going to capture an unsuspecting or inexperienced pilot out. So the handling of the aeroplane and the performance of the aeroplane allow it to be very simple and straightforward. Indeed, the, recently the Royal Air Force has sent pilots uh, solo in the aeroplane, never having flown anything other than simulator. So the need for a two-seat aeroplane has been reduced by advances in both sim simulation and in the handling of the aeroplane. But flying the aeroplane is only one part of the equation. You've got to learn how to operate it and how to make the systems and sensors work for you. And I believe, uh, having flown all those aeroplanes and spoken to lots of pilots, uh, that this aeroplane's cockpit allows the pilot to very quickly make great operational use of the systems and sensors and become very tactically aware of, uh, very, in very short timescales. All those technologies can have the perception of being too complicated to operate. How would you comment on that? I think uh, that perception can come when you, when you suddenly look at a simulator like we have here at Farnborough and think, oh, that's very, there's a lot happening. But you have to take a step back and remember that every training course for every airplane is a very logical sequence of learning building blocks. So you, so you don't do everything at once. You do it bit by bit, and then you put it all together. I, as I've said already, with Typhoon, you very quickly are able to put it all together. And that makes your pilots much more operationally useful, operationally capable in short order and keeps them there. Um, You've got uh, things like direct voice commands to, to, to help you manage the tasks in the, in the cockpit. You've got uh, hands-on throttle and stick. You've also got uh, the helmet-mounted display, which is new to a lot of pilots who wouldn't have experienced that before. But all the, all the things that we have in, in Typhoon, there's, there's nothing radical about them. But what is radical is the way that they've all been integrated. It's a pilot's airplane. The cockpit's designed by pilots, not by engineers. It's designed by pilots because they're, they're the ones who know what it needs to do. And I've been very fortunate and met a lot of pilots and shown them Typhoon cockpit, Typhoon simulator, and I'm very, very pleased to say that all of them walk away impressed by what we've got. For air policing, time is of the essence. You, you, if you're an airplane, you don't want your airplane airborne all day long waiting. You want to be able to detect a threat and then scramble the airplane and get off the ground very quickly. That was a key uh, design feature for Typhoon, to be able to get from stationary on the ground to engines running, all systems running, and off the ground very quickly. And we achieved that. From the pilot arriving in the airplane to taxiing is in, in the order of significantly less than five minutes. The, the number is obviously a classified number, but it's significantly less than five minutes. That added on top of a great uh, aircraft performance in terms of acceleration means you can get places quickly, you can get to the bad guy quickly. And, and then you need the sensors to detect him and the command and control uh, communications to give you your rules of engagement and your permission to engage. So uh, I liken Typhoon to a, a, a toolbox. It's a very full toolbox, it's got everything in there that you need to do a wide range of jobs. And air policing is, is a paramount importance to any nation, and Typhoon is very, very capable in that role.